President Donald Trump has reignited an intense debate over the next generation of aircraft carriers. He does not like the Ford class's electromagnetic aircraft launch system. He's now promising to order a return to 20th century steam catapults. Military reporter Mike Gooding tells us how other leaders think we should go forward. The idea with the Gerald R. Ford class's electromagnetic launch system is to put more jets into the skies faster. Retired Vice Admiral John Mozak explained to me in 2017 that the new system will generate a third more sorties with 25 percent less people. We need to be able to generate more sorties. We need to be able to cut down on the number of folks aboard the ship because folks equals money. EMOS is, has the ability to do what it is we need to do. But President Trump still isn't sold. He'd previously said the system is so sophisticated it requires Einstein to operate it. This week, he doubled down. When we build a new aircraft carrier, we're going to use steam. I'm going to just put out an order. We're going to use steam. That statement caught Pentagon leaders by surprise. So I'm confident on EMOS. Again, we've launched 700 airplanes and recovered them. Senate Armed Services Committee member Tim Kaine, whose state is home to the world's only maker of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, Newport News Shipbuilding, says although cost overruns are a concern, simply ditching e-malls isn't a smart move. Let's not just say we're going to go backwards. I, 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 I understand the president's motive, but I don't think we yet have the evidence to suggest we should throw out this innovation. Meanwhile, the next carrier, the John F. Kennedy, complete with EMOL's technology, is set to be christened in November. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.